Hello everybody. Welcome to the fourth lecture of the materials technology. Chapter 1 Fundamentals of Metallurgy. Today we shall be discussing the various hardness tests. Hardness is the resistance to indentation, abrasion, scratching, cutting or shaping. The hardness of a material is a complex property and depends upon other properties such as grain size, yield strength, tensile strength, ductility, resistance to abrasion, etc. The hardness of metal or an alloy may be defined in one or more of the following forms: scratch hardness, indentation hardness, rebound hardness, and micro hardness indentation hardness it is the resistance offered by metals to indentation it is more commonly used test all the indentation hardness testing methods are based on the principle of forcing a hard material called as indenter against a flat surface of the metal whose hardness is to be measured under a fixed load the diameter or the depth of impression determines the hardness of the material most commonly used hardness tests are brinell rockwell and vickers hardness test these devices of hardness measurement differ in the shape size and type of indenter used the load applied and the method of measuring diameter or depth of impression brinell hardness test for testing iron and steel a load of 3000 kg is applied on indenter ball of 10 mm diameter for 10 seconds and for non ferrous metals and alloys a load of 500 kg is applied through the same indenter for 30 seconds the load is applied by means of hydraulic mechanism brinell's hardness number is calculated by the following formula rockwell hardness test it is the most widely used hardness test Its widespread use is due to its speed, freedom from personal error, ability to distinguish small hardness differences in hardened steel and the small size of indentation so that the finished heat treated parts can be tested without damage. It is very similar to Brinell test. But in this case, the machine measures the depth of impression rather than the diameter. The hardened steel ball or a carefully ground diamond cone is used as an indenter. Two sizes of balls are used. 1.5 mm and 3 mm. The diamond cone is ground to an angle of 120 degrees. The softer materials are usually tested on B scale and the hardness values are written as RB. A hardened steel is tested on the C scale and the hardness number obtained is written as RC. Rockwell A scale is generally used for hard materials especially sintered carbides produced by powder metallurgy. Vickers hardness test It is very similar to Brinell test. In the Vickers machine, the indenter is diamond pyramid having four sides. The angle between the opposite sides is 136 degrees. The diagonals of the square impressions are measured and the area of the pyramid surface is calculated. The loads vary from 1 to 120 kg. 
and the impressions obtained are small. The hardness number is called as Vickers hardness number or Vickers pyramid number or diamond pyramid number or diamond pyramid hardness and it is denoted by HV. VPN and BHN are almost identical up to 300 numbers. Beyond these two curves slowly diverge and diversity is significant beyond 600 number. This is because there is deformation in the ball indenter at high hardness values. Due to this, Brinell test is not recommended for testing materials of hardness above 400 number. That is it for today's lecture. In the next lecture, we shall discuss the plotting of equilibrium diagrams. Thank you.